You're an advisor to quite a few billionaire donors, including the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. I'm curious, in terms of these billionaire donors, what big trends, what are the top five trends that you are seeing in this space right now? So I helped give away about $1.5 billion last year from some of the biggest philanthropists in the world. And so in that world, which is a, a, a small world of some of the biggest donors, there's a couple of trends. One is they're looking for the nonprofits that they give to, to give them advice and to actually be thought leaders. So they're looking to organizations to come to them, not just pitch the organization, but to say, let us educate you, let us be your advisor in this area, and then hopefully you'll contribute to us. And so advisors is a, is a key thing. So a big warning to nonprofits is don't pitch your business, be the educator. You want to build a relationship, and you want to educate, and you want to engage. And I believe, I know because of, we tap people like that to be advisors to our clients, and I know it works. The second trend is evaluation. People talk about the need to evaluate the impact of things, and there's a lot of talk out there, but now some of these big foundations are taking it very seriously. And so they're, they're requiring the organizations that they give to to build monitoring and evaluation into their programs. And that's a big deal, and it's causing a lot of nonprofits to really think about their work very differently and be proactive about, about evaluating. The third trend I would point to is advocacy. Philanthropists for years have stayed away from policy, and now what we're really seeing philanthropists realize that there's policy solutions to some of these problems. And so you start seeing philanthropists being interested, not just in direct service and building schools, but in actually fixing the policy that enables uh, uh, the education space to work better. Fourth trend is scale. I think the way my parents did philanthropy was to fund a, you know, a, a single school or a single issue or a single project in our community. And now some of these big philanthropists are, are looking for successful models of building that school, but trying to figure out how it can actually be scaled. And so organizations that are working in the space of high net worth donors that need to think about their solutions at a massive scale. That's what is attracting lots of donors. And the last piece is what we call impact investing, which is the same philanthropists who have a billion dollars to give away on an issue are now not just giving it away to charity, but actually looking for sustainable business solutions that are part of that problem. And so my client that's interested in alleviating poverty in Guatemala well, and, and improving women's lives, there's a lot of great organizations that he can contribute to, and he will give a lot of money to great nonprofits. But there's businesses that need to be sprouted up. There's sustainable businesses that need to employ women, that need to um, put people back to work, that need to uh, uh, alleviate poverty. And so that's what we call impact investing, which is not just giving charitable donations, but also taking your investment money and putting it into mission-driven businesses that align with your philanthropic philosophy.